Hey, I uh, just want to show you guys Kiwi Doggy here. I want to teach you guys how to use AVI demo and rendering in Vegas and getting everything done. So, in the MTI server zero today, uh, I got a shot. So, what you're going to go to, for me, since I downloaded Call of Duty 4 through Steam, it's in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Call of Duty 4. Uh, if you bought the game and like use the disc, it's gonna be in like uh, Activision, Call of Duty 4, and then you'll it should bring you to something like this. So my shot is in Pro Mod 206. I just happen to know that's that's my demo there. Uh, so I have my own separate little chunk for Call of Duty 4 recording. So I'm gonna just uh, drop it in Mod Warfare right now. If you have anything on your screenshots, like I've finished recording a demo already, you wanna trash those if you already rendered it out. They're gonna be pretty big. Yeah, 11.3 gigs. Um, so I'm gonna put my demo in here. And I have a configuration already set up, so I'll, I guess I'll post the link for that or something. So I'm going to run Call of Duty 4. No Punk Buster on here. Launch Modded Warfare. Or Mod Warfare. Should bring you up to this. Then what you want to do before you do anything is Dev Map MP crash or another site. What do you want Kiwi? Stop wanting. Wait for this to load. Also if you have a secondary or recording configuration you want to put like everything on high. Free for so like I just have a profile called custom movie. And then, what you want to do to launch your configuration, type in EXEC for execute. And for mine, it's called Taj. And as you can see, like it Let's do this, Marines. changed things, changed the colors and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So then after this, you can just go, like, leave game. Then what you want to do is go demo and then the name of your demo which in case of me it's shot let that load up and then you want to type in CLAVI demo 60 like whenever you get to the spot of your clip also turn off your HUD which I have a bind for that. You also want to periodically keep tapping the disable HUD because sometimes things in Promi like planting the bomb or just some random skill shots will uh will bring back the HUD. I completely failed here with my strafe, don't mind that. You could bind the CLAVI demo uh, 60 to a button. I did, but I do not remember what my bind was. So I saw somebody here and wall banged him, and then TB lag kicked in here, and I failed and got killed. So then you want to wait a little while afterwards, and it goes CL. AVI demo zero and that'll return you back. Well that was the end of my demo. It'll it will uh end your recording and your files will appear under mods, mod warfare screenshots. And that's all that's the demo right there in image file. So then you wanna go to uh let's see what we got here. Uh you want virtual dub. 
I have virtual dub here. I have a shortcut link which died because I moved my files. So you want to go to virtual dub. Bring that over here. You want to go to uh, compression. Select your lossless, which I have largeth it looks like and use multi-threading if you're on a 64-bit PC here so you click that then you also want to go to frame rate and then instead of no change you want to put change to whatever you have some people do 120 I record render do everything in 60, 60 frames per second so I'll do that then what you want to do is drop in your first file what do you know here we go and you didn't like playing it in uh virtual dub isn't the best thing because it'll lag and stuff but yeah that's the video there is no sound you could record sound like uh using fraps or whatever then mix it later but for this tutorial I won't be doing that so I'm gonna go save as AVI and then just save it there shot zero and that run. Okay, so it finished. Now, just so you don't have a block up of demo screenshots, go ahead and delete those. You want to open up Vegas, which I already have here. And there's my shot. Just drag and drop that into Sony Vegas. And here is one big thing that you have to do, and that would be go to Properties, Disable Resampling, and hold on, let me turn it back on the Smart Resample, and I'll show you what, what it does. Okay, oops, I'm going to move the slider. To around like where I did that super fast move. Like, let's go right here. You can kind of tell where the blur is from the resampling. Let's go disable resample, and your video gets instantly clear. You can see it like with the guy there, he's not all weirded out that back on I put I use mine at half just so I can see and so what you want to do for rendering I guess I guess I'm not going to edit this in anyway you want to go to render as and save it here what you want to do I have one set up for cloud forward configuration what that is is these settings audio doesn't really matter I don't have any music or anything in there video I do mine at Windows Media 9 at 720p because that's what I recorded in at 59.94 frames a second which is 60 pretty much and then your bitrate you want to have it high so I have mine at 15m which is megs uh, normally it's at 6 but you want you want it as clear as possible. All these don't really matter. These are just the settings. And just call it like save that. And our render is done. So when you go to watch this back, I don't know how well it's gonna show. You could do more or less AVI demo, it doesn't matter. That's the clip, and thanks for watching this tutorial.